This week, Blackpool have sacked Simon Grayson. Uh, I'm not too unhappy about that. I thought the football was getting worse and worse, but some people saying maybe he should have been given a, another couple of games. What's your thoughts on that? Post them in the comments below. Jane and I are on Falcoast Radio on a Friday night on the Sports Hour. You can download the app and listen to it on your smart, smart speaker. It's on from 6 till 7. I asked a question before the show what they thought of Simon Grayson's sacking, and this is what they said. I didn't expect it to happen this week, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether it's the right or wrong move. It's a move that's now being made. I thought he was going to get to the end of the season. Surprise, in a way, because I thought he might have been there. I thought he might have been given to the end of the season, but you can't continue that run of form. And if, if the dressing room's gone, you know, you're struggling to beat the team that would be bottom, but for Bolton's point deductions, then you know something's got to change. Uh, I think it's about time, to be honest. Uh, I was at the game on Tuesday, and I was one of the many fans that some gracing out at the end of the um, at the end of the fixture. Um, it's been an accumulation of the past 12, 12 fixtures or so, just really bad performances. And if I could see the team progressing with the new signings and going in the right direction, then I would have given him the benefit of the doubt. But Tuesday's second half performances, Saturday's performance against Southend wasn't convincing either. Um, it was definitely time for a change. And the fact that he was calling out the players really and in his post-match interviews wasn't wasn't helping his situation at all. I thought I'd feel relieved, I thought I'd feel happy, and I feel like, you know what people say, what they feel like when they get divorced, like they're really sad, and because like something's come to an end and you wanted it to work. Yeah. I feel like that, I feel really down, and I'm glad he's gone, but I, I, I'm not elated and I'm not looking forward to the match yet. It's just, it's just sad. And that starts next week with a, an opening weekend with all 10 Super League teams playing um, in Birmingham. Um, also, after the Gillingham game, Jane uh, was panicking over the Fleetwood tickets, so I got up nice and early, joined the queue. And what have we got here? That's not too bad. Join the back of the queue. Well, Tim's in. I feel so good this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Still cold from last night, Lee. It was absolutely freezing last night. What a disappointment. Yeah, it was really wonderful. I mean, why are we here? Why are we doing I this? don't know really, but we're here because of the love of black people, aren't we? Yeah, it is. We've all been put through hell, and now we're going to get tickets for Fleetwood. Four tickets for Fleetwood. We are mental. Well, that's what you do when you're a football fan and you support your local team. You go through thick and thin. That's what it's all about. Jane uh, set off to go down to Bristol Rovers to an open end in Storm Dennis. There's nothing stops her going. So she's gone down to video that for you. And I'm starting to feel a bit sorry for her. She just can't seem to buy a win. Coach is arriving. Good luck. How we get a win today, lads? Right into our faces, it's quite hard and, and heavy and um, people are 
are walking into the ground, they're uh, basically saying you're fucking joking or you didn't expect us to stand in this. But you know what, I've been coming to West Blackpool for 30 years and this is this is a proper level league football, it's kind of you're expected to or you used to be expected to stand in this in this kind of weather. So. Challenge from uh, captain Ben Hennigan there. I think perhaps he's uh, he's just got a little bit overexcited. Um, you know, he has been a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I said when we played away at South End, all the players looked like they were on drugs. They were that pumped up, and Hennigan looks a bit like that since he's been given the captain's armband. It's maybe it's a little bit too much for him. But you don't mind so much with the sent off for a for a challenge maybe stopping a goal or something but this was just by the dugouts it was just pointless really but there you go looks like uh, Liam Feeney's got the captain's armband now well it's half time but still one nil up it's, it's good I mean it's, it, the fans are being positive it's, it's yeah it's a lot better. It has even stopped raining now. So it's, you know, we have been looking a lot more well balanced across the team the last couple of games. Anyway, um, we've got Callum McDonald back in today, which always helps. We're actually unbeaten with Callum McDonald in the team, so uh, let's hope that continues today. Fingers crossed. Um, it's good. It's, you know, the atmosphere is good. Everybody's happy. There's, you know, I think the cloud has lifted despite. Uh, <laughs> it might look like there's grey clouds above my head, but yeah, it's, it's a lot better. I'm, I'm feeling much better about things now, so yeah, fingers crossed we can keep it going. Second, just uh, watch and see. Something very different from under Larry. We've made a double sub at half time, which yeah, would have been unthinkable under Larry. Um, Certain and Delfonso are on for um, Medin and uh, Little Ronan. See, uh, it's a, a, you know, a, a brave move. Um, so let's see how it goes. I guess it keeps more players happy and more of them getting game time. So maybe that's what he's thinking. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a, you know, a change of uh, formation with um, Henningen going off. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes.
equalise with a, a wonder goal with a Stop that. Um, yeah, what can you say? The, the, the fans were getting a bit, uh, a bit disgruntled, so uh, they'll probably start uh, upping the volume a little bit now. But we just need to respond. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, it looks very much like we're playing 4-4-1 with uh, Nigel up front on his own. Um, he's, he is very much on his own as well. So. and he's capable of doing it on his own, so let's see. Let's see. He can't go with the not all up front on his own, so uh, wow. been under the cosh um, certainly for the last half hour we've been creating nothing really um, not, not, not like scoring uh, but we have been down to 10 men you know which has cost us if that hadn't happened and it wasn't necessary if that hadn't happened we could have won this but we need a new manager and we need one quick That's <laughs> what we do, that's what we lose, that's what we do. But I'll tell you what, that was a different black ball today. Uh, you can tell something has shifted definitely. I mean, the, the, that fight at the end, you know, they really didn't like losing that. You know, the keepers up there and the attack in injury time, they were really hungry, they were really, <laughs> they started a little bit late to be honest. They should have been doing that, you know, arguably for, for all of the second half, really. But you know, they had this hunger, they, they were determined not to lose today. We haven't seen that in them all season. Um, so, 
Yeah, something's definitely changed. Um, the players seem a bit happier, have a bit more about them, and uh, plus they just need to to learn to control it a little bit better. Um, certainly, you know, Hennigan arguably lost us that game with his. It's just a stupid challenge. Um, but yeah, there's something to build on there, and there's this, you know, a glimmer of hope. So. I don't want to say we go again, but yeah. Maybe I'll be looking forward to Wimbledon now. Still still no points ultimately and things things need to change and we need a new manager as, as soon as possible really. So we've shown what, what a positive impact losing Larry has, has had already, so yeah, step in the right direction.